Aggression is the second most common feline behavior problem seen by animal behaviorists. Although cat aggression is sometimes taken less seriously than dog aggression, perhaps because cats are smaller and don't pursue people to bite them, aggressive cats can be formidable. They have five potential weapons, their teeth and all four clawed paws, compared to a dog's sole weapon of his or her mouth. Cats can bite and inflict severe lacerations, which are painful and can easily become infected. They can also cause cat scratch fever, a usually benign but potentially serious infectious disease that causes flu-like symptoms. Fights between cats rarely result in fatalities, but they can lead to infections and result in considerable veterinary expenses for cat parents. Aggressive cats can be risky to have at home and can pose a real danger to family and visitors. What is aggression? Aggression is threatening or harmful behavior directed toward a person, another cat, or other animals. Virtually all wild animals display aggression to guard their territories, defend their offspring, and protect themselves if attacked. Aggression refers to a wide variety of complex behaviors that occur for different reasons under various circumstances. In pet cats, aggressive behavior can range from cats who hiss and avoid the target of their aggression to cats who attack. Understanding Cat Body Language Understanding what cats are communicating through their body language is essential for cat parents. It enables them to more accurately read their cats and understand their feelings and motivations for doing what they do. It also helps them respond more effectively to behavior issues like aggression. Body language is made up of cats' body postures, facial expressions, and the position and carriage of certain body parts, like ears, tail, and even whiskers. Cat body language is more subtle than dog body language and can be harder for people to interpret. Knowing the basic postures and what they mean can help cat parents deal with problems more effectively and enjoy their cat's company more fully because they can understand a common language. Threats and aggression can be either offensive or defensive. An offensively aggressive cat tries to make himself look bigger and more intimidating, whereas a defensively aggressive cat adopts a self-protective posture and tries to make himself look smaller. The following are typical postures seen in feline aggression. A rule of thumb is to not touch, attempt to reassure, or punish cats showing these postures. Offensive postures include, a stiff, straight-legged upright stance, stiffened rear legs, with the rear end raised and the back, sloped downward toward the head, the tail is stiff and lowered or held straight down to the ground, direct stare, upright ears, with the backs, rotated slightly forward, pilo erection, hackles up, including fur on the tail, constricted pupils, directly facing opponent, possibly moving toward him, might be growling, howling, or yowling, Defensive postures include Crouching Head tucked in Tail curved around the body and tucked in Eyes wide open with pupils partially or fully dilated Ears flattened sideways or backward on the head Pilo erection, hackles up In an anxious cat, whiskers might be retracted In a fearful cat, whiskers might pan out and forward to assess distance between himself and the danger Turning sideways to the opponent, not straight on open mouth hissing or spitting. Might deliver quick strikes with front paws, claws out. Overt aggression, whether defensive or offensive, includes swatting, striking with paws, biting, fighting, growling, shrieking, scratching, preparing for an all-out attack by rolling onto side or back and exposing all weapons, teeth and claws. In this position, your cat might attempt to grab your hand and bring it to his mouth to bite it. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Classification of aggressive behavior. If your cat has been aggressive in the past or you suspect he could become aggressive, take time to evaluate the situations that got him upset. Who did he aggress toward? When and where did it happen? What was going on during the half hour or so leading up to the incident? What was about to happen to your cat? Determining the answers to these questions can clarify the circumstances that trigger your cat's aggressive reaction and provide insight into why he's behaving this way. You need to understand the cause of your cat's aggression and his motivation for it before you can help him. Keep in mind that a number of medical conditions can cause or contribute to your cat's aggression, including toxoplasmosis, hyperthyroidism, epilepsy, abscesses, arthritis, dental disease, rabies, trauma, and sensory decline or cognitive dysfunction in older cats. The first step in resolving your cat's aggression problem is to have a complete veterinary exam to assess his physical health. Aggressive behavior problems in cats can be classified in different ways. A good way to understand why your cat is aggressive is to think about the function or purpose of the aggression. 
If you consider all the reasons why cats behave aggressively, you can determine what motivates your cat to do so and identify what he might gain from his behavior. Between cats. The most obvious and easily understood type of aggression between cats occurs between unneutered males. As males reach adulthood, they often begin to challenge each other for access to mates and territory. Tomcats who roam will get into threatening standoffs and actual fights. They sit or stand stiffly, their hackles up, and stare at each other. Their ears are swiveled backward, and they often growl, hiss, and howl loudly. One cat might eventually slowly leave, or one or both of them might attack. Aggression between household cats is more subtle and complex than the conflicts between two outdoor toms. It can be so subtle, in fact, that cat parents don't notice it. The aggressor cat postures and the recipient makes himself look smaller and may break away to avoid the aggressor. The aggression can occur between females or between females and males. It can be related to physical size and activity. Large cats often intimidate smaller or less active cats, to a lack of pleasant social experiences with other cats, to an accidentally learned association between the other cat and something unpleasant, like fireworks or thunder, or to a simple personality clash. Please see our article, Aggression Between Cats in Your Household, for more information about this problem. Fearful or Defensive Fear aggression can occur when a cat perceives a threat, and it escalates if he can't escape. The more threatening the person, animal, object, or sound seems to the cat, the more heightened his fear reaction will be. Typical body postures associated with fearful or defensive aggression are a combination of defensive signals, such as crouching, flattening the ears, tucking the tail, leaning away or rolling onto the side, and pupil dilation, and aggressive signals, such as hissing and spitting, pilo erection, growling, swatting, biting and scratching. Aggressive signals are especially likely to be displayed if a cat can't escape the thing he fears. Often the best way to deal with a defensively aggressive cat is to simply avoid him until he calms down. Territorial. Animals of many species strive to expel or keep out other individuals from their territory, and cats are no exception. Both male and female cats are territorial, but males may defend larger territories than females. Cats' territorial aggression is usually directed toward other cats, but it can be directed toward dogs and people, too. A cat can show territorial aggression toward some family members and not others and toward some cats but not others. Cats mark their turf by patrolling, chin rubbing, and urine spraying. They may stalk, chase and ambush a targeted intruder while displaying offensive body postures, including hissing, swatting, and growling. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.